We are back on El Sample Pod. This is your boy JJ. We got Javi over here, and we're coming to you live with our Survivor Series prediction show. You know how these do. We're always right. This, these are not predictions. They are spoilers. But anyways, go ahead and take it away, bro. All right, let's go. So, uh, we have the uh, as always, we have the match, we have the match card. We don't have the match order, we don't know how they're what they're gonna do, but this is what we have so far. So, we have Zoe Starks versus Rhea Ripley for the women's championship in the pre show. Probably, mm, no, it's uh, it's a regular match, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, okay. This should be on Raw, yeah. It, it, it does seem like a, like a match that should be on Raw. Uh, now the one thing is that it is, I guess it's good that they're some of the talent that they're bringing from NXT. They're giving them a little bit more exposure, and they're kind of keeping a very similar character that they did in NXT compared to what they used to do. Which kind of like, you know, bad example, but Karrion Cross, <laughs> he seemed cool on NXT, and all of a sudden they bring him in with the with the helmet and all this extra crap. Wow. They took away his wife, that was an awesome. Uh, that whole presentation was great. They took that away, so they kind of took away from the from the whole uh, from the whole character. Literally, the whole character was gone. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. So at least that stayed that way. Uh, it's weird because she almost seems like I don't know if she's a better baby face or a heel. It's it seems like she still needs a little bit to go to uh, to be honestly to Zoe? be considered a credible uh, uh, contender. You are talking no, about Zoe Stark? Yeah, she's poop. I mean, she's not. She's not poop. It's just she, she's somebody yeah, that I, I see, and I'm like, it's like, dude, I don't know, man. Like, every time I see her, it's just like, eh. Take a shower. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, realistically, it's like, eh. Like, there could be so many other girls from NXT in her position, and unfortunately, it's her. You know what I mean? I think she would. Like they try to bring her up with Trish Stratus and it didn't it didn't even help. You know what? But to a certain extent, like I, I disagree. I disagree because I think that was the best thing they could have done with her. Because now people know who she is. Before they didn't know who the hell she was. Now at least it's like, oh, she's the one that used to hang with the well uh, so with Trish Stratus. Quién carajo es esa? <laughs> like I don't say one, yeah. It, yeah. But, but yeah, but uh, but I think I mean it should be interesting. Rio probably win this uh, relatively easily. I don't think there's any question on who's gonna win this match. Yeah, uh, Zoe Stark wins the wins the women's champion, bro. I will be shocked as fuck. No, well, the I thing is, like, why? Too. Like, there's almost no reason why you're gonna have her, and especially Survivor Series, maybe at the Rumble or maybe at Mania. But why are you gonna do that? I mean, right now, Rhea regardless of her record regardless of the matches she's had i mean she's still over no matter what i mean she's and y'all so. talk so much shit about roman reigns not showing up well at least she's on she the show. barely wrestles at least she's on the show <laughs> roman's not even matter. on the show yes it that does matter, matter a lot it's not the same presence either what it's not the same presence like roman reigns is like uh like a whole different level compared to Rhea. like real realistically but anyways, he's supposed to be. <laughs> so, oh, okay. All right, just making sure. I thought you were gonna say no. He's not. No, he's but it's almost a, on the same level. That's his job. No, 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 no. That's his job. The tribal chief provides. <laughs> provides for Paul Heyman. That's basically yeah. it. But, uh, but anyways, uh, so what are your predictions on this one? Rhea Ripley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me too. He's like, I think. I think. Uh, in order, in order for Zoe to win, I think like Rhea has to get hurt during the middle of the match, and then they will have to like fix it last minute, last second. We're like, hey, you're gonna win, you know what I mean? And then even Zoe Stark will be like, I'm what? Then like, she'll, she'll get hurt too. This. Yeah, she'll no. get hurt. <laughs> and then it's like a double count out or some yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Just I'd be okay with that. Rhea. I'd honestly be okay with that. <laughs> Double count. Out. If they both get hurt, right? Not like no, not if they both get hurt. Just a double count. Uh, out. I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I hate those, to be honest with you. Yeah, me too. But it whenever make a they difference. try to get in the ring, they wait until nine and they're like, like listening for the ref, and then be like, "Oh, he gets back in the ring with nine point three quarters." 
Yeah, the the only time uh, I've ever seen the ref, uh, the the ten count, uh, be good is at uh, New Japan, which they do like a twenty count, but it's like one, two, three, and they say it over the speakers too and everything, so there's no way you can miss it over here. Uh, and WWE's bad, count. bro. But AEW, AEW, the ten count takes like three minutes, easy. One easy. No, by the time he starts counting, you Read already have like book. thirty seconds. Read you already have like thirty seconds. It's like, <laughs> like I watched that match with uh, Swerve and Hangman Page, which uh, it was good, but you didn't need that much blood. All in all, it was a great match, I, but the blood was just can I ask a little you too much. Before you, what? who's so Brandon was telling me that apparently Swerve is the babyface. Mm, I think they're neither. Uh, uh, they're. Cause Swerve looks like a straight heel, bro. Like realistically, no, Swerve, Swerve is the heel. He was the one cheating. He was the one that has a faction. So no, he's not the he's not the the baby face. Now he is getting over because he's good. Hmm. Which I think that was one of WWE's biggest mistakes too. He was good. They 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 kept the bums and let the best one go out of uh, uh the most out of expensive. Uh, yeah, I mean he was good. He was really good. But, but anyway. And then Swerve won, right? Yeah, because he yeah. choked him. He choked yeah. him like, bro, what? Like that's that's too much. No, it, it was it was a little much. Like if they would have had maybe a little bit of blood, I I understand why there is blood, and I don't mind having a little bit of blood. But good God, like this was nasty. Like bro, it was disgusting. Was, I think that was legit blood, bro. It was legit blood. Everything was yeah. legit. He started blood. drinking his blood. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. are you, a vampire? Are you Edward? <laughs> From Twilight, like, that's, that's disgusting, bro. You can get sick. Ugh. That's how uh, HIV. Uh, I mean, uh, bro, um, anything, anything, hepatitis, something as simple as that, bro. Yeah, Any, you uh, could get uh, gonorrhea, bro. It's just no. No, he's gonna get it. But anyways, <laughs> you can get sick, bro. Like that. That was stupid. Like he spit it out. It doesn't matter, bro. It just caught, the, the it just of touched it. your the, tongue. The thought of it, bro. The thought of it. Yeah, it's just I mean, like yeah. Let me just go ahead and drink somebody else's blood. And he's like, oh, the no, fuck? dude, come on, bro. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. The like, fact it, that he choked him though, it's like, bro, that's not even a baby face move. After like, all, that's of that. definitely a heel. Yeah, but that's he's a heel. I don't know where yeah, Brandon yeah. came up with the whole. Thing. That's what I say. So I was face. just like, I mean, what? But I mean, he was cheating. He even had Brian uh, Brian Cage help him out and everything. So, damn. Cool. But um, yeah, man, like like the way that he choked him, it was just like on call for him. I'm like, yeah, that's too much. Yeah, no, everything. I mean, the, the whole match was a little much. It looked real, uh, as, as real as you're possibly going to get in that type of match. It's they, AEW, bro. Come on. They always trying to go. No, no, no. But this this one in particular, because I've, I've seen some of their other matches. For example, perfect example. The 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 match the I think it was dog collar match or whatever it is that uh, we're not even talking about Survivor Series at this point. No, but well, every, at this point whatever. whatever. But <laughs> but when you had uh, Dustin Rhodes against Cody Rhodes, there was a lot of blood, but it made sense, right? But yeah. it made sense. But it was like you felt the emotion. They didn't go too crazy. It was just enough blood to say, "Oh damn, somebody's really hurt." But it wasn't so much blood that you're like, "This guy's gonna drop dead." So that was a difference. Like this one was like. What are these guys doing? <laughs> like, yeah, like it, it was borderline disgusting. I know some people love that. They're like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, mm, a little much. Like, a little. bunch of marks. Yeah. And CSI fans, you weirdos. You know who you are. <laughs> Neck Definitely beard, don't watch eating. this channel. <laughs> you Neck Cheeto beard, eating. eating. <laughs> basement dwelling. <laughs> basement. Basement living. <laughs> Mom still having in the same house. Sorry, I was gonna say mom still having Dan. That's what fucked up. Bro, going yeah, all mom over the place, still bro. having in what? the same house. Like, wait a minute, give it a second. Uh, but uh, so yeah, you drink uh, juice pouches. You weirdo. <laughs> Capri Sun drinking. Yeah, with no kids. Capri Sun drinking, hot pocket eating, Cheeto finger licking. <laughs> Candy ass. Exactly. <laughs> you but, mark. <laughs> uh, but uh, but anyway, um, we're gonna get hate. Comments. Yeah. So, so, so and next. I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna cut a promo. Everybody who who puts a, a comment down for it. 
Exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. It. But let me uh, talk to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the, the next match we have the Miz against Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. This is another match. In fact, that uh, Raw is playing right now as we speak. Uh, uh, Miz just uh, did the, his uh, skull crushing finale on Gunther on the interview. So you know what that means. Gunther is winning. Yeah, he's gonna. But get those realistically, hands. like no matter what, like Gunther was gonna win. Like yo, if the Miz would win, it would be like ridiculous. Like there's but no like, reason why. Think... There's no reason why, especially to Gunther. You're gonna you if if it's if somebody's gonna beat Gunther, it has to be special. It has to be somebody yeah. that you're planning on. Like, let's say if it was um, LA Knight. No, no, but well, yeah, that that would be that would have made sense. But if you would have had, oh, look, they're doing that. <laughs> <Yeet. laughs> but <Yeet>. but if <laughs> but if you would have had, like, let's say if Austin Theory was a baby face and you would have had him beat him, he has to make sense because you're building this guy to be something big. But Miz, I mean, come on, Miz is already on his on the back nine of his career. This is know. probably going to be the hardest match that he's ever been in in his career. Possibly, <laughs> possibly. Maurice Bro, is going to be like, Maurice is going to be like, damn, I want a Taco Bell, but you already have all the taco meat on your chest. <laughs> he's he's going to look like like um, Swerve's face the other day. <laughs> That's how his chest going to look. Bro, it's gonna look bad. Cause yeah. I, like Gunther's not gonna hit him in the face. He'd be like, "No, I need to make the Marines eight. Sí. But the Marines like, twenty five. Yeah, but but like that means a blandito. So he's yeah. <laughs> he's not a tough guy. Like if it was Chad Gable, yeah. Chad Gable. It's gonna like, be like three cool. chops, three chops, power bomb. All right, let's go. <laughs> That's cool. One, two, three. All right, deuces. In fact, I'm not even gonna power bomb you. You're gonna just crumble with the chops. That's it. With the chops, just one. Yeah. Yeah, but honestly, ah. and yeah, we know that Miz's biggest asset is his uh, is his mic skills. That's it, because he's yeah. okay in the ring, but he's not great. He's yeah, kind of like LA Knight. Opposed to like the Miz having the U.S. champion or whatever. It's just yeah, but not the IC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and the Gunther, IC yeah, exactly. title. Like if it would have been Nakamura or something like that, or Ricochet, whatever, but not not Gunther. But anyways, so you have Gunther, I have Gunther. That's easy. Uh, the next match, Batalla de Latinos, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. We have Santos Escobar versus Peso Carlito. Pluma versus Bad Bunny. Oh, God, no. Even, neither ba one, bro. Peso Pluma <laughs> versus Teo Calderon. No, tampoco. Por, por, por lo menos Don Omar, que at least he's bigger. <laughs> at least he's bigger. <laughs> That's true. I was just thinking of the hair. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, the hair? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be Teo. El Cholo <laughs> versus Teo Calderon. There we go. Nah, not even that. I don't know. I don't know who. Just who leave, it leave, leave it at that. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. So, uh, Taco, where's some mofongo? So, yeah, there we, we go. can do that. That'll, that'll work. I do like so, a good taco, though. Yeah. And a good mofongo, too. They're both good. Yeah, both. 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 But the mofongo has to be moist. Moist yogurt, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, Carlito versus Santo Escobar, as we saw last week. Moist, it's okay, it's okay, okay, My it's man. okay, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> they let's see what's gonna happen on Friday because, like, realistically, like, they haven't really done much together besides showed up on LWO and then, uh. Carlito snitching and then <laughs> and then Santos calling him out, but they haven't been face to face. You know what I mean? No, they haven't done much. They haven't done much, and I think it, it may. It seemed like it was rushed, uh, but I think it's it, what it's, three weeks, right? Three yeah, weeks? but I think it was because of Ray's injury because Ray was hurt and he needed surgery, so they're probably like. Also, he really going. got hurt. Yeah, he, he had surgery this week. But yeah, he's gonna was be he hurt him. on the Logan Paul match or no? Nah, he was. It's one of those, it's kind of like Seth Rollins where he's been hurt for a long time and he's finally taking care of it. it was, so it was like at the point where he couldn't go anymore. So that's why we have the injury angle and whatnot. So, I mean, it may, I mean, uh, unfortunately, you know, real life happens. So they, they, they probably had to, uh, to move this forward a lot. Bro, Logan Paul saved his life, bro. Yeah. Even when though Logan Paul also said that he almost messed him up too. 
right afterwards because he almost hit his oh, head. Oh, I didn't but, know. Like, yeah, because Logan was like, yeah, they, which was cool because Logan seemed a little bit more humble than he normally is. I think he's taking this wrestling thing really seriously. That's good. He is. Uh, he is. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, but he was saying like, oh, people were it's saying that I God. that I saved his life, that I saved his life. And then when he was watching the replays, he's like, I basically saved his life, but I almost got, almost murked him on the same, in the same move. <laughs> so it was like, hey, hey, we were lucky. I was lucky. So, so yeah, but but at, but at least he acknowledges it and he and he recognizes it and he's better trying to protect the other wrestler more than AEW's guys do. That is a fact. That, that is, is good. At least he tries. At least, at least yeah. he tries. But, uh, but yeah, but going back to Carlito and Santos, I mean, I, I I don't necessarily want Carlito to lose, but I think Escobar has to win. Escobar has to win. Because if not, what's the purpose of the whole thing? Like, what are we, where are we going with this? Yeah, if it's going to lead to the him baby face Ray, wins right away, is it going to be like too much? Yeah. In fact, they should have had him against like some. In fact, I don't think they should have even had a match in Survivor Series. They should have had him go and on SmackDown against like Joaquin Wild and Del Toro, like Ed, and then go against Carlito, have a feud with Carlito, and then take it up to Mania at that point and have him against Ray in um, in WrestleMania. Which that that would have worked a little bit better. They already put him with Carlito, the best guy from the faction. So where are we going with this? What are we doing? So- so who do you think is going to be the leader of the LWO now that since uh, Ray is injured? <laughs> Take a no. Start crying. <laughs> no, it's going to be Carlito. Carlito. Yeah, 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 there's no question. And then Carlito now, turns on him and be like, I don't want to be part of you bums. <laughs> now, do you think they're going to bring uh, Carrillo and uh, the other guy's name? I always forget all of their names. To Santos? No, este... To What's LWO? No, no, I'm saying like Umberto to Carrillo, Santos yeah, to, to Santos. Like, what if they put Carrillo and Angel Gans- 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 Yeah, they could put him, put, put them too, because these are their two bombs. He's gonna be like, man, you guys are too soft. Who? Joaquin the, and Joaquin and to- Del Toro. Yeah, and they could work together well in the ring. So, so yep, they're stinky yep. doo doo. <laughs> no, they're they're terrible. But I think that that would possibly work because I think Santos needs a faction. Santos needs to do. Uh, El Fantasma Part 2 or something yeah. in that vein. I think that L- makes sense. The real LWO. <laughs> You're going to have like LWO Wolfpack and LWO Black and White? Like <laughs> like the NWO? <laughs> All right, brother. I cheat, I still. <laughs> hey, man. R.I.P. Eddie. He, he would probably... He would probably disagree with all of this stuff. He'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> he would. He yeah. definitely would. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so who do you think wins here? Like, what's... Um, if, you had to, if you had to bet, who, who are you betting on? Santos. Okay, so Carlito's going to win then? No, Santos is going to win. <laughs> I said, if you were going to bet... <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that's true. You would bet on oh, Escobar, so Carlito's going to win. Yeah, but Carlito's oh. going to win. Yeah, no one does the really they'll fuck that up and then Carlito does that. <laughs> no, but I but I think it's gonna be it has to be a quarter. It has to be Carlito. a quarter. There's, there's there's no way. I mean there there's because then where are you going with the story? I mean you're you're literally gonna you're gonna push the story back. It almost makes no sense. So next match we have the women's war games match. Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Shotzi and Becky Lynch versus Damage Control, which is Bailey, Kyrie Sane. So Oscar it's a 4v4, too. Remember yeah, how it, we thought it, it was going to be a 5 on 5? Yeah, it seems like it. Even though it would make sense, because remember, the, the men's is going to be a 5-man, so it's uh, the women's roster is smaller. So it makes sense. At least they're just not shoehorning somebody in there, you know, just so they could be on the show. Could like, everything's making a little sense. Or something like that. <laughs> just out of nowhere. It's <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Valkyrie, uh, what is it? Valkyria or something? Yo, bring what's her name? Uh, Kimi Chu or whatever her name is. What's her name? Wendy Chu. Wendy Chu, <laughs> randomly. You know what? I, I, <laughs> it was hilarious I'm last sorry. week when I'm they were talking. Tired. No, 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 no. When they were talking to Mitchie, and I was like, wait a minute, don't, don't, don't tell me. No, no, no. And then she's no. like, All right, cool, yeah. that she got played too. 
<laughs> like realistically, she got played. They were like, she was like, yeah, I would love to be part of your faction. Or <laughs> uh, no, we're going with Becky, with the man. The Selena man. Vega. Selena Vega. She just yeah. got it. She's like, oh my god, oh my god, Santos betrayed Ray, and all of a sudden she's on the floor. Bro, that didn't even make sense. <laughs> and then it's like damage control is like, yeah, so we're taking care of everybody, so nobody wants to wrestle with you. Ha ha ha. ha. <laughs> that's, that's, that's so bro weird. it was gold whenever bailey told that kid to shut up yep yep loved unleash it unleash bailey unleash Fox. bailey let her do Fuck them kids yeah yeah um but this one i'm going with the baby faces i think the baby faces are gonna win too um uh, I would like damage control to win, but like the baby faces are going to win. They should give it to damage control. Per story. Yeah, they line. should. Per story. Yeah, line. especially since they added all these people. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't they win? I mean, realistically, they have a team that's basically just as good as the baby faces. Two, they can ch- always cheat, right? Uh, plus, you just made that group. Like, what are you going to do? You're not going to have them lose right away. That would make no sense. I make mean, absolutely no sense. That is true. Yeah. Uh, granted, uh, when you have uh, Bianca, well, <laughs> when you have Bianca Belair, uh, uh, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch, you know that. I'm superheroes. surprised that this. I'm surprised that the title's not on the line. <laughs> Take it off of Yo Sky for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, it's just like watch on Friday. One one of them is gonna challenge Yo for the champion. Watch on Friday. Charlotte Flair, and then she's gonna lose it on Saturday on the pre-show right before this match. Yeah, <laughs> to Rhea Ripley. So then it's gonna be Rhea two belts. <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be. I think. I, I don't know. Like these war game matches are kind of like mid. So I hope that the women's match is good. Like that's probably gonna be the match that I that I'm gonna watch the most. Um, but I mean, in ring it should be great. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Except for Shotzi, but it should be great. <laughs> now she stinks. They could have just done with. In fact, they they, they could have even protected Io Sky and not have her in the match. Just have um, uh, Bianca Becky. And Charlotte against uh, Kyrie, Oscar, and Bailey, done. And Rhea, that would have been better. <laughs> nah, you don't even need Rhea. Rhea at this point, dude. Because well, even though her match is kind of pointless, that's my that, that that's the only problem with this. It just seems like the other matches are just there to take up space. Yeah, like I mean, no like one. realistically, like they Survivor Series is not what it, what it used to be. Survivor Series used to be a big pay per view, especially with uh, the bo- both brands going against each other. Now it's like Survivor Series war games, so it's all about war games. Well, but remember, Survivor Series was about two teams, uh, like that's how it started, about just having two teams and then they'll go against each other. That's that's the premise of, of Survivor Series, which yeah. it made sense. I th- I honestly think, um, kind of on the other hand, I think it's more relevant now than it was four or five years ago. Because last couple of years, it's, it was pretty bad. And then you had last year, which honestly, I, that was great. Last year's uh, War Games was great. Uh, I don't even remember what else happened in the rest of the show. It was just that I match. That match. I, I that, have no idea. If we had to pay 50 bucks, by the way, Triple H, do not listen to this. I would have paid the fifty bucks just to see that match, for real, because that was worth it. That was. You worth said it. you want to pay for pay per views. Watch tomorrow, <laughs> starting this Saturday. You can start to buy it on the Peacock on the cock <laughs> for seventy dollars. Bro, no, what? <laughs> if I had seventy bucks, I would be buying Spider Man too, not spending it on on your bullshit show. <laughs> Go all like on Spider Man. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you I'm a Spider- fucking uh, Spider Man in my plush. life. I'm gonna be honest with you. Pause. The show. But, I mean the game. Sorry. Like no pause. <laughs> no pause at all. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, so so you have the baby faces winning the match. Si, senor. Okay, I'm going with uh, I'm going with the heels just for uh, 
Like, I did not contar en el plus effect per, per storyline, I think it would make more sense. Uh, next match, which will probably be the main event, the men's war games match. We have Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, Jey Uso, someone else, which we don't know yet until probably in the next couple of minutes because <laughs> Raw is happening right now and they're going to they're gonna announce who their fifth member is going to be uh, against uh, Judgment Day, which is Finn Balor, Dominic, JD McDonough, Senor Money of the Bank, uh, Damian Priest, and Drew McIntyre, which in his promo opening Raw, he said that he's not part of Judgment Day, but he is joining them in their team. So, you know, that, that that's interesting. I guess they're going to yeah. kind of keep him as a lone wolf type guy. Uh, I think he has more than enough personality and more than enough uh, star power to be his, you know, to do his own thing. He doesn't need a faction, honestly, at this point. Even though it would be cool, but he doesn't need a faction at all. It's going to be a bunch of Puerto Ricans all together. <laughs> and they're going to be called Las Alcaburias. La, uh, la fritura. Yeah. La fritura de piñones. But uh, piñones, cool. Who do but you anyways, have? Who do you have winning? But, anyways. I, I, the thing is, I don't know yet because we don't know who the fifth member is going to be. Which? Okay. On to that. Who do you think the... And we only have a few minutes to figure out. Who do you think the fifth member is going to be? Like, if you had to bet. Excuse me. Sorry. I think it's going to be LA Knight. LA Knight? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I was actually hoping for... Uh, obviously, CM Punk, but it's probably not going to happen. Uh, also, Randy Orton, I think, would be the, the one that makes the most sense. That would be uh, cool. He could go in there, and, and especially in a Survivor Series match like that, he doesn't have to do much. He just come in as the last guy and whatever, clean house, cool. An RKO! Uh, RKO! Yeah. That's all he's got to do. That's all he's got to do. And then, hopefully, he betrays Cody Rhodes right in the middle of the match, and that's it. <laughs> be like, fuck you in your list. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> uh, but uh, he's gonna punt the lisp out of him. <laughs> so, uh, wow. uh, so, uh, so yeah. So I, I think that uh, that would be a, that would be a great thing if uh, if Randy Orton comes back. Now, the only thing is I'm afraid of is if it's Kevin Owens, bro. I hope not. It just seems I like every time there's something like this. Oh, who are we gonna bring in? Everybody's expecting something different. It's Kevin Owens, and I'm like, I and believe me, da, 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 da. no, and That's he's one of my favorite sense. wrestlers. I love Kevin Owens. I love his attitude. I love his in ring. I love his promos. Why does he have to be in everything? Why? Como la blanco. Exactly. He's always there. He's always there. Uh, so I, I, I really don't know. Um, but just going based on just going based on history. It's going to be almost impossible for anybody to beat the baby faces. Why? Because they're all superheroes. Every single one of them is a superhero. They're fucking Superman. All of them. It's like the Justice League. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> so they, they all, they're all perfect. <coughs> they're all great. So, cause you have Cody Rhodes, which, you know, he's, he's not going to take an L for no reason. Uh, no, Sammy's, Sammy's the one. If they do lose, he he might be the one eating the pen. If that's the case, uh, Jay, it almost seems like Cody wrote his own script. <laughs> could be, but uh, then you have Jay, which I, which they're trying to bring him up. Uh, Seth Rollins, you know, he's not gonna want to lose. He's not gonna want to take an L. You know, he's he 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 hates taking L's anyways, uh, <laughs> even if it's not real. Um, and on the babyface side, and then the heel side. JD McDonough's there because I don't even I don't even think that Dominic should take an L if he's gonna lose. In my opinion. Yeah, because like I mean like but he can take the pen. He can, but that's but isn't that why you have JD McDonough? That is true. But um You imagine it's JD that actually wins it all. And I mean he pins it. He pins uh whoever it is and then oh, they win. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Look, and Drew McIntyre just beat Jey Uso, so hopefully we should find out who the next person is. It seems like they took, they're took taking forever. <clears throat> Which I'm actually kind of okay that uh, that they brought Jay down a notch a little bit, especially against Drew. I mean, Drew's a guy. Like, uh, there's no shame in losing to him, in my opinion. 
Oh, and he won, and he beat him with the with the Future Shock. He didn't even with the DDT. He didn't even beat him with the Claymore. With the Claymore. Uh uh-uh. uh. Let's he beat him go. With the DDT. And we didn't okay. get to see that whack ass spear from Jay Uso. <laughs> <laughs> well, then okay, now now you have Drew kicking kicking Jay out. Whatever. Tell me who the hell the next guy is. Randy oh Orton. My God, they're taking forever. All right, I'm gonna take a nap while you do that. Bro, it seems like it. <laughs> oh, let's see. But then, okay. I want a long clip. Lo lo corta y para para que yo Damien. Okay, we have Judgment Days in. Blah blah blah. Hurry up, guys. Now who's gonna save? Oh, Cody's out there with a the chair. Seth's out there with a the chair. Oh my god. Sammy's out there with a the chair. <laughs> Bro, for real, this is bad. Oh my. It's Dean Ambrose. No, no. <laughs> Yo, I'll, I'll be shocked. That would be cool though. It's time for him to come back home, I think. Yeah. John Moxley. So he stops bleeding. Exactly. Renee would probably would probably appreciate that too if he went yeah. back. Like now you don't have to bleed anymore. Okay. Damn, bro. Sammy Zayn literally just has a Oh wait, it's Cody's talking. Let's see what he says. Okay. Okay. We're not alone. Okay. <laughs> bro, good God. Just name him. Te cabrón se está hablando más que Titanic, no joda. Name him. All of this to be Kevin Owens. Let's see. Yes, Randy Orton. It's Randy. It's Randy. Is it? Yeah, he just said it's the Apex Predator. Your, your face wasn't even excited. Because I waited for so damn long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, come on, man. It's Randy Orton. Oh, my God. Yeah, that would, that bro, would that be was... great. That would be well, great if he did RKO with Cody. I hope so. I hope so. He... And then punts him. Let's go. And then actually, that would be a good reason why why you could have a rival a rivalry or with uh, like Sammy or Jay to say, bro, like you brought this guy over here, so that's your fault. We lost. But anyways, now that changes every to a certain extent. I mean, I'm still going with the baby faces. I'm still going with the baby faces, but I want the heels to win. I, I just to. want Randy to be like, I'm not your friend, RKO. <laughs> that's why I sent you. <laughs> that's why I sent you to AEW in the first place, you bum. <laughs> yeah, go away. <laughs> I never come back this time. <laughs> but anyways, uh, those are our predictions for the exciting Survivor Series 2023. So just remember to like and subscribe. Just like the blow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye.